I'm so excited for Christmas, you guys. It all fell apart like Jenga. You're a wreck. This one's really cute. Oh yeah, I got a new flea market bag. I can't open it. <gasps> Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm feeling slightly more energetic today. I just finished the first of two major makeovers I'm doing for my friends yesterday. It took, it took two additional days than I had imagined. Everything takes longer than I imagine it. Well, and for one, my DIY project was a little bit challenging. Uh, at one point it, we had it like tilted so I could assemble the top and get it into place. And as we tilted it, it all fell apart like Jenga. Like it just, cause I was just so adamant on doing it without like super adhering it with like wood glue and things because it's more renter friendly that way, they'll be able to break it down. If I was to like glue, they'd have to like take a sledgehammer to it if I glued it and did all of these other things to it. So. It didn't work out doing it like kind of the first way. I had to do it a little more permanently and then it came together. But it literally, like the DIY project alone took two days, literally. Two more additional days than I had imagined and I felt so bad because I was like in their space and then they felt bad that I kept having to come. It was a whole thing. I was like, I'm so sorry it's taking so long. The days are getting shorter so I'm running out of daylight earlier and like things like that were happening. So just finished yesterday and I've edited the majority of the video to submit it, but today's Saturday. No way I'm gonna be able to turn it around uh, to get live tomorrow. So I'll upload this vlog tomorrow and then I'll give um, the brand time to like look at it and look over it and stuff. And then it'll go live hopefully on Tuesday, but it is done and it is coming and <laughs> I'm proud. I'm so happy with how I figured out a way to really optimize the space that they had and make every corner really usable. And that's like really, like even though it's not particularly my style of my own home, it's still one that I can appreciate and like, and also the way that it was like um, kind of laid out and like thought through, I was like, oh, this actually came together uh, really well and they can utilize every part of their apartment in that area a lot better. So stay tuned, it will be live. And then I was supposed to go yesterday and start the next one. My friend Jerrica actually lives in Orange County, so it's quite a drive. And I was gonna go down there yesterday to kind of start, basically just go shopping with her and like find some other pieces that we can put in the room that she really likes, like rugs and lamps and a mirror for sure I need. And I just like, I was like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna come on the way. I'm gonna stop by the other makeover and do like a couple of shots and then I'm gonna be finished and then I can be on my way. It was like all a lot and I was exhausted. Like yesterday morning, I couldn't even move my body. Like I moved a little bit and I could feel every muscle like sore, really pushing it. I knew I was pushing it trying to do these two in the same kind of time frame you know things happen it wasn't planned that way we were waiting on stuff and it just kind of like panned out that way tomorrow we're gonna go down there Mo Romeo and I so for Sunday and then we have more furniture being delivered Monday so I don't know so I'm getting ready right now uh, it's actually my my manager's baby shower today she's having a baby girl and uh, she's about seven months pregnant now I think about oh, maybe a little over seven months she's doing like January she's having her baby shower in the park and we are gonna go I have known her since 2019 I'm working together she handles all of the you know, talent business side of, of what you guys see in my videos so that I can create and I can do DIY projects <laughs> that fall on the floor and I have to rebuild kind of thing. I actually did her makeover. Hush, I think it's been a year now. We did their bedroom. That was really good. I really liked that one. Okay, we are off to the baby shower. It's cooler today, so I'm wearing a sweater. I ordered them something online, like a big, big thing to come. So I knew I couldn't take it uh, with me. So I remember when we came back from my sister's baby shower, my brother and my sister's baby shower. Uh, oh my God, we 
has so much stuff to haul. I was like, I'm not even gonna do it to them with something big. Have it shipped directly to the house so they'll get it tomorrow. Uh, so I'm just gonna get a card and put a picture of it in the card. Got the printout? Mm -hmm. How cute this card is. It's like a pop-up card. So what? Oh, how precious. And I wanted it to be more than a card, so I got this big peachy pink bow to go on it. But like, I want it to be more important than just a card. more conversations, Because I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Because you glue all the pieces back together okay we've made it back the baby shower was so cute they have such a large family um so there was tons of people there they had like a habit burger truck and for food they had like desserts and games and things it was so beautiful she's she's glowing truly we have to do something about this i have gathered all of the packages that i've received lately this is a combination of things that I've ordered for the next makeover. Uh, holiday tree decor. I guess I do have holiday decorations in here. Yes, we are going to kind of redo them though because this was just for the photo shoot that I had. Um, so it was more minimal, more just green. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a lot. So ignore the holiday for now. It's a little bit too soon. I just had to do it early for the photo shoot. More holiday decor because I wanna do like a very specific style this year uh tablescape decor because we're gonna be doing like all the holidays here with romeo's family which is gonna be super exciting remember i told you i was gonna be working with anthropology too so we got all that stuff i think some i got a box from madewell i think it's clothes oh we have to do we have to do an unboxing all these boxes have been stacking up at the door and i swear romeo is gonna go like absolutely insane if one more box gets put there also kinsley just fell in the pool which part did she fall on she's oh. The, the steps. steps. Yeah, the steps. <laughs> she jumped out too. So we have to give her a bath tonight because her head didn't get even, even get wet. So she must no, have. No, no, no. Jumped in, jumped out. <laughs> so we taught Kinsley how to swim um, shortly after we, well, right when we moved in um, because closed on this house, I came here with my mom. Kinsley was on a leash and she fell in the pool immediately like she just there's no you know she was on a leash though so i was able to like save her then we taught her how to swim in case she ever did fall in the pool she would be able to swim and she obviously like dogs just like pick it up right away like she immediately started doggy paddling um the only thing is was important is for her to know which direction she was going to be able to get out from but she's never out there by herself so romeo was out there cleaning the pool and she gets so excited and she runs around and she barks and barks and barks at the, the scooper the skimmer to get the leaves out that she what she just slipped she just slipped yeah <laughs> but you know she's fine she's it was it was not that dry she's never out there by herself ever because we have coyotes that was a scary situation for me um she's she doesn't go out there alone anymore and we've also stopped her from being able to go up to the secret garden too huh her head her head's perfectly dry so she has to get a bath today oh what happened you fell in the pool was it cold no not yet Okay, this one is from Anthropology. You gonna help, Kinsley? Waterfall Tulip Clear. Oh, these are the glasses for the tablescape. They're so pretty. Look at that, I got a set of four. I'm doing a tablescape for a set of four. It also has like a gold rim on it. These are so pretty. They have like a slight fluting to them, like a fluted look in the glass. I thought they were so pretty. I think I got another like water glass to pair with these. for you kids oh this one's so cute i got some so anthropology has some boxed ornaments um but for the most part they're like individual like cutesy ones like specialty ones this one is a specialty one you're gonna die it's a mini ornament drill how cute is that I know you DIY too. I thought that was so cute to go on the on the tree. I don't know. I haven't really like gone through and like figured out exactly how I want to decorate this year. Um, I really just wanted to go through all of my things and see what we had that I wanted to reuse or upcycle. Um, so we need to do that. I, I've gone through it just to decorate a little bit just for the photo shoot, but nothing like super major. 
this is the cake stand. I felt like for like holidays, like for desserts and things, we were gonna need like so pretty. Oh, this is such a pretty cake stand. It had like some detailing on the sides and it was like white, but like more like a off blue white. I don't have any like um, dessert display things. Um, I never really got to have like little parties and things where I would need stuff like that. So I felt like, especially like during the holidays, you have pies and desserts and things. So I thought that that would be like perfect. Kinsley, are you gonna do this to everything that I open? Oh, this is the vase. I showed you guys this one um, last last vlog. This is really pretty. No tablescape would be complete without a vase. This is really pretty. Herbiflora cheese plate, gold, set of three. Oh yeah, these were so pretty. I thought those were so pretty. I love having charcuterie boards and stuff like that. So that would be so pretty. I didn't have any um, pretty knives like that. Gail Stroh dinner plates in white. I think that these match the cake plate. Oh yeah, so pretty. So this is like my base, like the dinner plate, the base plate, and I have another dessert plate and things that I got. I think I got some taper candle holders too. Oh yeah, these were so pretty. Pretty like twisted brass taper candle holders. I obviously have tons of vintage brass, tons. The majority of them are short though. So I did get some like taller scale ones. They were not so much for like tables, but more for like mantles and like um, like smaller things. The majority of mine, unless I have some more, I know I have some more brass in storage. I know that I get really lucky when I shop vintage and secondhand to find brass. I don't sew anymore, but I used to get lucky. I don't find a ton now, um, but it just shows you that you can still get the look, but you can buy it new, obviously. This Bombay juice in honey. Oh, these are the drinking, well, the juice glasses, but um, more like the drinking water glasses. Oh, these are so pretty. Look how pretty those are. Mixed with the taller, with the gold rim. So pretty. Oh, and here was the taller taper. So see how I got some taller standing ones? These were so pretty. I love that they were uh, all a little different. All the sizes were a different shape to make it look more eclectic. I like that a lot. These are the lights that I ordered for the makeover. In her entryway, um, she's got, it's a really interesting style. I think more Mediterranean, I guess. It's got this like, these entryway lights on the wall have like leaf kind of designs on them. <laughs> it was the first thing I saw, I was like, I think we're gonna change these out, right? And she goes, yes. Um, these are brass and they have shades that come out of the wall like that on the brass. And then they have a, sh a shade, which makes it feel um, warm and more traditional, I feel like with the shade. And the shade has like a natural linen, which was really pretty. I'm gonna bring these with me tomorrow. We have to pack later, like some supplies and things that I need to bring along with me. This one's from Madewell. They did reach out and ask to send me some of uh, their pieces from their fall, new fall collection. Um, sure. I have like some amazing pieces of denim from, from Madewell too. Oh yeah, I got boots. Babe, I got boots. How cute are these? For fall? I'm gonna try those on. I also got a few pieces of clothing from Anthro. I got this like silky kind of like white skirt to wear with a sweater. I thought that would be really pretty. It's super silky. This is cream, I guess. This looks more like white instead of cream. I thought it was gonna be a little more like creamy. Like more like my sweater, I guess. Fall would not be complete without chunky sweaters. This is just such a pretty color. This one, this turtleneck for fall, love. This I think is a like dress sweater all in one. Oh yeah, it's more like a, wait. Yeah, for some reason on the website, it looked like different pieces, like a sweater and a skirt, but it's more of like a dress. You know, just with like this like twist in the middle. I thought it was really pretty. I know there's supposed to be a ton of ornaments like in here or coming. Ah! I'm so excited for Christmas, you guys. Okay, these are the these these are the sparkly sets. Oh, good, they're like big. I was hoping they were like on the larger side so that they, you know, kind of like have a substantial look to them. These are so pretty. I got three boxes 
of these. Um, so I have for a 12 total. These are the stubbled glass assortment of four. Holy moly. <laughs> We got a lot of boxes to break down. Did you just rename Kinsley to Candy? Uh, or are you thinking about I Halloween? Kenny. No, I because I thought about South Park in my head. Kenny. Oh, Kenny. Yeah, so. South Park. I was thinking about a scene in South Park, sorry. Alright, I'm wrong. Okay, bye. <laughs> he's, going to get, he's going to get my car washed. I love that that's his job. I, nothing, like, I hate going to wait for my car to be washed. There are just certain things that I just don't like to do in life. And a lot of them involve my car or taxes. You know, like there's just like those types of things that I just like don't like to, and he loves to do it. I'm like, cool, thank you. So he does that for me. I think this is a, I think I got a few more candle holders. I have never unboxed this much new stuff in my life, I think. I usually do, all my hauls are normally secondhand from like flea markets and stuff. It's fun to be able to work with a brand that you really love, you know? Oh yeah, these were so pretty. See, tall, tall candlesticks. These were pretty. They look more like tulips on the top. They were like twisted. These are my little pretty, pretty dessert kind of plates. Um, they're just like more dessert size or salad size. Oh, so pretty. Oh, I love these. Look how pretty that is. With like the flowers. They're like an okra color. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, okra color. Okra honey. So pretty. I got four of these. Oh, honey. You're making a styrofoam mess. Kinsley, what? You're a wreck. I got some cedar colored um, linen uh, table napkins. But this color looked perfect with those plates too. They're gonna be so pretty. But look how pretty these are together. <laughs> That's wonderful. Just kind of like bringing in those like rich tones for fall. I thought those were gonna be really pretty. <gasps> ah! Oh, this is so cute. Okay, this is an ornament. Uh, it's one of the, you know, like the, what's it, the primrose mirror, the anthropology mirror? that, you know, like every girl like loved. They had it in an ornament with 2023 on it. Look how precious this is. How cute is that? I thought that was like so like vintage too, to like go on the tree. I love that, that's, that's so cute. Ooh, more taper. I didn't know quite know what taper candles were gonna look good with like kind of like the warmer colors I was doing. Um, so I got some of the, this is like a set of six. They're more like twisted ones. Oh, neutral tan, neutral tan. So I got the, this set and it had like light, dark, and like more neutral, like beige. And I also got the green, you know, cause I wanted to see like what kind of color I was gonna like love um, with all of it. Oh my gosh. The rhinestones are kind of coming off though. <gasps> Look how pretty this is. Love that, it has like crusted like rhinestones on the top. That is, that's really beautiful. I got a few of these actually. I got six of those. Cause when you do a tree, surprisingly, like it's, trees eat up your ornaments. I, I realized that when I was doing the tree for Christmas in Texas and I really wanted all of those like decoupage vintage ornaments and I wanted to find them all at like thrift shops and stores and uh, estate sales and things and I was collecting them but you have to collect a ton of them to give you the look that you want otherwise they just kind of like disappear they don't have as big of an impact um so where I could I ordered multiples if they were sold singles so I got yeah I got six of these three four uh, last year, Anthropology had the most beautiful velvet kind of collection. They had a velvet tree skirt that I got for the cottage. That was the tree skirt. That's the tree skirt that we have. I also think I got the the stockings. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure I got the stockings. I'll have to look when we go there in a little bit. Like I have to look. Well, they didn't have the tree skirt, the same tree skirt. I was like, I would, I would love that one. I could always bring that one here or swap them out or something. But they did have the ribbon. <gasps> and it's so pretty. Anthropology has the best ribbon. I got that ribbon uh, in solid colors for the cottage too, to kind of put 
and the mantle and the garland and kind of like have a ribbon kind of throughout. I love doing that. And they had this ribbon this year with the eggplant and stuff. I love that. I love this color when we did it for fall in here in the pillows. I was like, I know it's gonna look like so good for holiday. So we can make like little bows to hang on the tree too for the holidays. That'll be like super pretty. But I did get um, a tree skirt because we needed one. Hello, how are you? Oh, how are you? <laughs> this one is more neutral. It actually had some embroidering on it, which I thought was really pretty. And it had like a gray and it had like little pine and mushrooms on the bottom. See the embroidered mushrooms? <laughs> it was kind of cute. The gray I knew would look really good with the rug in here and the wall color. And it would be like a neutral kind of like bottom, you know, for the presents in the bottom of the tree. That's so pretty. Glass star brown matte ball. I wanted like some warm brown um, ornaments to kind of calm all of the kind of like sparkly ones. I thought this one was so pretty. It had stars all on it. I think I got a few of these too. At least two, if not four. And Kinsley loves balls, so she's gonna love that. No more, you don't get the you don't get the ornaments this year. No, no, they're all glass. Oh, cute! And I got these. This set of um like sh more straw, like straw? Yeah, straw ornaments, uh, assortment of 12. So I like to mix in like some of the more specialty ones were on the higher price point. And then things like this are great like filler because they come in a pack and they're cheaper. So you can kind of mix them in and fill out the tree. So I like to balance them that way. Um, so I got that set. That's, that's gonna be really good. You know, the ornaments that we have here, I have been using <laughs> since maybe 20, 18, 2019, 2018 maybe, I got them at Home Goods. Um, so they were kind of at a discount kind of thing. And I have been collecting some vintage ones too, but it's, it's just really nice to have like this first year in the house to have, um, you know, some special pieces that we'll, we'll still use. I still love the ones I got from, from Home Goods, but it's kind of the same Christmas we've had for what, five years in a row now? Um, so it's gonna be fun to like mix in some other stuff with it. Oh, I ah, got some more. You know, I think I think one of the other ones I wanted might have been on back order or something or sold out so I couldn't get them. So I, I got some more of the sparkly ones. <laughs> this one's really cute. I just love all the specialty ones that they have. Look, we got the 2023 new home. <laughs> the key. That's so cute. And these are velvet baubles box. I knew I got some velvet ones to mix in too. Like I wanted some like warmth, not all sparkle, you know? Like I gotta I gotta balance. Balance the shine with something like a little subtler. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh how do I get in this thing? I literally cannot open this. I can't open it. I can't open it! <gasps> These are so pretty. Look at that velvet ball. That is so <laughs> That is so pretty. And it comes with green, blue, red, and pink. You know, so it kind of, and they're all like different shapes. I'm pretty sure that is all the ornaments that I ordered. Last package, made well. I think I got some new jeans. Oh yeah, I got a new flea market bag. Okay, so every time when I go to the flea market, I need a bag that's not designer, that is kind of crossbody because I like those the best, and big enough to hold, you know, like my wallet and my phone and my keys. I have one that I like to use, but it's too small. Or then I just use a tote bag, you know, and then everything kind of falls in the bottom of it. So I saw this one on Madewell and I was like, oh, that's so cute, but it's a little bigger. And it is now my flea market bag. Isn't that nice? It will fit everything that I need. So it's bigger. That's amazing. I love this. This is now my flea market bag. Ooh, I also got some denim. I wanted a pair of like light, like wash, like cream colored denim. Madewell has excellent denim. So I got these. They're like straight leg. 90, the 90s straight leg high rise. Ooh, look at it. Sweater brushed v-necked crop. I loved the blue for fall. I thought that was so pretty. 
They also had the brushed um, style in a different kind of sweater. Oh yeah, it was a pullover. This is so pretty. Kids, where'd you go? I love this color. It was like a wine burgundy kind of color. The only black pair of, of pants that I have are leather. So I was like, sometimes you don't want to just wear leather. So I got these. They're a little baggier. This is the pleated trouser jean. So they're like wider leg. And finally, a pair of regular jeans from them. This is actually one of my favorite styles from them. It's the, the 90s straight leg. Um, that's why I got it in the lighter color too, but I got it in a different, different wash. So nice. Now we have tons of recycling to do, boxes to break down, and we'll save all of the like, like um, bubble wrap and things. We like to reuse that, especially like during the holidays or like whenever Romeo ships stuff for his business, we always like to reuse everything that we possibly can, even boxes, truly. So anything that he thinks he'll use that isn't too big, uh, we'll save. Oh my gosh, okay, got all the boxes, broke down. It's <laughs> and we're in the recycle bin, so. That's really good. So now I want to set up and record an episode of the podcast. Um, I have two exciting episodes that I want to record. And I hope you guys loved the uh, horror story episode. It was super fun. I was reading. I, I shared some of my stories and also your, you, your stories. So I asked you guys on Instagram if you live in an old house or you grew up in an old house. Do you have any spooky encounters or stories that have like you know, of, of things that have happened. Um, so that was kind of like our Halloween episode that went live last week. It would have went live. Um, so definitely check it out if you haven't already and subscribe to the podcast. It's kind of overcast today, so I'm not getting a ton of sunlight, but I think I can, I think I can make it work. It's really like my only day to do it. I got to start a makeover tomorrow and be doing that. Mm -hmm.